How you doing fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here with another video about Windows 11. I know we're all excited about it, but I don't think it's going to be quite called Windows 11. I think it's going to end up being more of a reboot of Windows. So maybe it's going to be simply called just Microsoft Windows. And I think everybody could agree with me here, or maybe they'll just throw something extra. Maybe it'll throw an extra Roman numeral. Well, who knows? Because Microsoft is really good on that side of marketing. All we know is the next generation OS is about to be here. We all know Windows 10 was released in 2015, as it was the successor of Windows 8.1. Never heard of it? Or maybe you weren't really a big fan of it, because I know I ended up staying on Windows 7. I don't think anybody was really a big fan of the Metro design, which is more of the tile application that they added to their OS. And it was more of a feature that you would see something on a tablet or something that would be touch screen. It just didn't make sense on something like a laptop or a desktop because why would you hover your mouse over different tile applications and it just was really ugly. Even Dave Newell, the co-founder of Valve, he said Windows 8 is a catastrophe for everyone in the PC space. That's when he started to move Steam over to Linux. Windows 10 was then born in 2015, which it turned out to be this big massive hit. It did exactly what Windows 8 could not do to get their end users to upgrade their Windows OS. Now, Windows 10 has up to 1.3 billion users across the world. Now, wait till you hear what this new Windows will offer. But first, if you do find this content useful, make sure you don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you want to join the big wonderful fan band where we love to talk about tech and PC stuff, Make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button for more. But let's dig right into it. So Microsoft has this new project called Sun Valley, which Microsoft called it a sweeping rejuvenation of Windows. So Microsoft will be changing out their interface completely and changing out their UI. And let's hope they don't repeat history with Windows 8, where it was a complete failure. Just stay away from that tile interface make sure it never sees the light of day again. But more than likely, what I think is that a lot of this visual influence will probably come from Windows 10X. If you're unfamiliar with what Windows 10X is or you never heard of it, Windows 10X was announced back in October of 2019. It was believed to be the future of all OSs. It even featured a dual screen device, which kind of reminded you of a Surface in 2020, Microsoft kind of changed their mind. Surprise, surprise. The Microsoft called the world much different than what it was, that we evolved completely with technology. As a power core Microsoft, they wanted to really pivot their focus on a single screen Windows 10 X, which could leverage the power of their Microsoft Cloud, which sounds a lot like they wanted to take up the marketplace or some of the marketplace away from Chromebooks. But now, Windows 10 X is no more. Windows 10 X was actually scrapped just about a month ago, which I believe is an integral part of this next generation Windows OS. Remember how I mentioned the original Windows 10 X had dual screens? The funny thing is, I believe with the next gen OS, they fix a lot of concurrent problems that they have with multiple monitor setups with Windows 10, which was really the organization between the apps on different monitors. And then on top of that, they improved Microsoft Xbox's Auto HDR. They also feature much better Bluetooth audio support. Doesn't it sound like this next gen OS was a project like Windows 10X? Microsoft also wants to get rid of Windows 95 era icons. They also want to change out the visuals of your file explorer, your recycle bin, all the original stuff that you're used to seeing with a Microsoft Windows OS. And they also claim that you'll get a much more true dark mode experience. So maybe even the browsers will have it built in. Maybe it will be featured in much more applications. But if you don't know how to enter dark mode now and you want to, 
Make sure you check out the card above me because I show you exactly how you can do that. Here is exactly what I speculate might happen. As I mentioned earlier, I believe Windows 10X will be a much heavy influence on this new OS. Almost like what they originally tried to do with Windows 8, where they spread it across PCs, laptops, tablets, phones, you name it. But with this next gen Windows, more than likely I suspect it to be on laptops, desktops, their tablets, of course their Microsoft Surface, and a few other Windows devices. It'll fit into Microsoft Stratosphere, but it will fit with our error. Microsoft has probably found a way to make this next generation OS very light and much more space saving. And I believe it'll even take up less space than Windows 10. Perhaps even seven gigabytes or less for a 32 bit version and probably about nine to 10 gigabytes on the Windows 64 bit version. The kind of rival Google Chrome's OS. Compared to Windows 10 where you needed up to 16 gigabytes for the 32 bit version and 20 gigabytes for the 64 bit version of Windows 10. I believe Microsoft completely abandoned Windows 10X not because they were afraid it would fail, but instead they found a way to make a very legendary Microsoft Windows OS. That could end up being the true successor of Windows 10. And the timing is just perfect because now you have DDR5 RAM, which will be released soon. You will also be having PCI Express 5.0 soon. And we will be seeing these new processors being released soon too. The official reveal for the next gen Windows OS will be June 24th. And it'll be at 11 a.m. Eastern time and will be available for stream. I hope you guys found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you enjoyed the big, wonderful fan band where we love to talk about PC and tech stuff, make sure to get down and hit that subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here, as it is the same for my TikTok and IG as well. Hey, fan band, guys, what do you hope to find? Or what do you hope to see really in this new Windows OS? Are you excited for it or do you want to kind of stick around with Windows 10 for now? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching.